Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for 10 ready. We're in subpart 3, so calculators are okay. Question number 24. In the figure, line PS is tangent circle O, which means it only touches it once. Just glances off of it and moves on, but since it doesn't actually bounce at any angle, it just intersects once right there, touches the curve. This one that does twice is a secant, incidentally enough, so uh, RP or RQ is a secant. Um, they want to know what the measure in degrees of QPS happens to be. So write your answer in the place provided. Now, the thing about it, once I have a secant and a tangent, if I can figure out what this arc measure is, and I can figure out what this arc measure is, all I need to do to solve it is do one half times the measure of the purple and you could do the central angle here or the arc either one of those is fine I mean it would be the same thing and I'll just call it purple and write it in purple how meta and then minus the measure of the blue arc once I get all that in there, I can get my answer. So I need to figure out what blue arc is. That's the problem. It's a circle, so it's from 360 degrees. Uh, 110 plus 150 would be the parts I already know. So I can add those together and get 260. So I subtract and get 100. So I know that this measure is 100. So now I'm ready to just do my substitutions here. One half of the measurement of 150 minus 100 so half of 50 is 25 degrees so there you go all you need to do when you're given that secant and tangent is find the this is called the far arc and this is called the uh, near arc usually so sometimes it's called the far arc near arc theorem uh, other times it's secant tangent but whatever you want to do. If you can find this and this, subtract them to find their difference, and then just divide by 2, you'll end up with the measure of this angle right here, which is 25.